Hi, I'm Jerry, co-founder of Archisnapper. Archisnapper is a very simple product that helps architects and contractors save a lot of time with their field reports and punch lists. I want to show you a very, very quick overview of how Archisnapper works. I'm not going to show any specifics or details, just the essence. Let's make one field report together. Okay, Archisnapper has two components, the online account from where we can add projects with contacts and floor plans and then the app that you can use on your phone or tablet to um, do site visits and gather data that will then be transformed into a field report. We start with the online account here and we see a list of projects. You can add new projects from here. You can also add contacts to your projects. The contractors, subcontractors, architect, anyone who's involved. You can import contacts from Outlook, Gmail or Yahoo or other ways. Um, and then you can also upload your documents to the project. Those are PDF documents like floor plans that you can upload and they will then be available when doing a visit on site with your app. So to summarize, online we add a project with contacts and floor plans and then we also have the categories. You can set up these categories once and they will be there for all your projects. Categories are typical the different phases in the building projects and when you're doing a site visit you can add observations for any of those categories. Okay, that's it for the online account. Let's um, switch to the app and show how we can make, make a simple field report using our smartphone or tablet. This is the Archisnapper app. The app is available on all Android and iOS devices, both tablets and smartphones. Here at the right top, I have the sync button. And when tapping on that button, all the projects and contacts and documents will be made available on the device. So now I can make a new report for my sample project. And every time I do this, I have the choice um, to either start from my list of categories that we just discussed online or to clone the last report, which means I make a new report starting from my previous report and I can change the old observations or mark them as solved or delete them and start adding new observations. It's the first report, so I'm starting from my category list. Okay, this is the screen where we can fill in all kinds of information related to the site visit. And then when I'm syncing this information, this will be transformed into a field report, which will be made available on the in the online account for further editing and distribution. So what can we fill in? The first section is the status of the project. Here we can fill in, for example, the weather conditions or the status of the project, for example, roofing. I can also add some status photos, so general photos that illustrate the status of the project. And then below this, I have the contacts list. And when tapping on those contacts, they will be marked as present in the contacts table that will be generated into the field report. And below this, I have the list of categories. And now I can start adding observations for those categories by tapping on the plus button next to the category name. So let's step on the plus next to the, the category general. Okay, this is the screen where I, where I can fill in all kinds of information related to this observation. But it's important to know that it's not mandatory to fill in everything. Some of our users keep it short on site and just fill in the observation name with some photos and then they write the descriptions online when they're back at their desktop. Others have a big tablet with them on site and fill in all the fields and all the informations already here from the app on site. Let's walk through the possible fields. The first field is the observation name, for example, the paint. Um, then here I have the date. We can fill in by when this has to be solved. The assignees, so here I can assign the observation and tell who has to solve it. The status for a new observation is typically not okay. Um, then I can add the location. So I can select the floor plan and zoom in on it and then tap with my finger to 
um, indicate the location of that observation. I can also add multiple locations to one observation. And then below this we have the photo, so I can take one or multiple photos for this issue. Okay, so the photo has been added to this observation and will be shown together with this observation in the field report. I can sketch on, on the photos, for example, with a circle or a square and, or the pen. And the last field is a description, meaning um, some more information on the observation, what is the issue, what has to be done. I can also select standard observations and I can also use the voice to text. So here below we see the microphone and when I tap on this, I can speak and uh, this will be translated automatically into text. Okay, so the, these are all the fields for the observation. I'm going to save it and maybe real quick when I tap on the plus next to the word photos, I want to show you that it's also possible to insert photos from the camera roll. So some of our users first walk around the site and take photos and then when drafting the report they insert the photos from the camera roll. For example this one. And it's also possible to draw on a floor plan. So let me show you the last option here, draw on PDF. I can again select the floor plan and then zoom in. Select an annotation modus and then I annotate and when I tap save it will take a print screen of the current view. So this is in fact a new photo. Now these three photos will be shown together. Um, for this observation in the field report. Okay, that's it. Let's save the report and sync it to the online account. And now online a report will appear with this, this information in it and we can have a look at it and edit it and then distribute it to the different contacts. Okay, we're back here in the online Archisnapper account and let's have a look at the field report that we've just created together. So I'm going here to field reports. And here it is for my sample re project, report number one, it has not been sent out, created by me. And here I see the different options. I can still edit the report, but let's maybe have a quick look at the PDF version. Here it is. This is the report at, as it is right now. It has some layout settings like logo, header, footer, font type, font color, all those things you can set up once as layout settings and then they will be applied to all the reports automatically. Here we have the project information, the report number and date and time of the site visit. This is the status text, um, the contacts table with the people present and here we have the observations category, the name of the observation and the number 1.1 meaning Observation 1 for report 1, the date, the status, the text, the assignees and then here the photos with the sketches and then the location on the floor plan. So the report is here but I can still edit it from my computer here if needed. So I tap edit report. This is the editable ver version of this same report. Let's scroll down a bit. So when I tap here edit I can continue typing out notes, inserting photos, in fact doing anything that you can do from the app. And when I'm done editing the report, I can send it out to the different contacts. So here they are. I can select them all or some of them and then scroll down. The report, sorry, the email subject or body will be filled in automatically again based on those layout settings. I can select the floor plan and include any other attachments if needed and then send out the report. The report has been sent out and then we also keep track of the sent history in order to know who has received which report at what, at what point in time. And in fact, this is how you create a simple report with Archisnapper. Um, you can use the app on site to type out notes include photos, insert photos with sketches, annotate on floor plans, in fact do anything that you need on site and then when you're back at the office the report will be available for further editing and distribution to your contacts. 
If you're interested in ArchiSnapper, you can try it out for free via archisnapper.com. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us on support at archisnapper.com. Thanks a lot.